So there is wide jubilation again in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, and Ivory Coast over their victory against Mali. Côte d'Ivoire had already gotten a red card at the 43rd minute and that weakened their attack and their style of play. Then this guy, Douglas, scored at the 71th minute. His parents are Ivorian, so they are from Côte d'Ivoire, but he just decided to you know, play for Mali. He did not even celebrate. They then continued and we thought, okay, finally, Ivory Coast, they've tried. They almost got eliminated at the group stage. Morocco helped them to defeat Zambia. And that was what gave them an age. They are the third best, last third best team to qualify. They went ahead to defeat Senegal at the quarterfinal, the round of 16. Now, they have again defeated Mali. And these goals were scored, you know, at the dying minutes. They scored late against Senegal and went on to win the whole thing uh, during the penalties. Again, this time around, they scored, they equalized at the 98th minute. At Dingra, called the 98th minute. And again, the winning goal came from their Kite, who scored at the additional time you know, of the extra time. The extra time, it was total, uh, you know, fully played, 30 minutes extra time. And like 3 minutes more was added to the 120, uh, to the 30 minute extra time. 30 minutes extra time. And Fofana just shot Ivory because of Cote d'Ivoire to the semi-final. He, sh you know, he shot the ball and the Akite just, uh, with the back heel, with the back heel he was able to give Ivory Coast the victory they needed. Who knows? Ivory Coast can go all out, but of course, wait, they will have to play Nigeria again in the final if they are going to defeat their Democratic Republic of Congo. So they are definitely going to meet Nigeria again in the final. If that happens, that's the only place, that's the only, you know, level or point where they are going to be defeated again. But for now, no one is stopping Cote d'Ivoire, no one is stopping uh, the elephants of uh, Ivory Coast. They are going all out, even to the final, the way I see. This is just a caretaker manager that is taking them to this extraordinary achievement. This is, this is unbelievable. So Mali had the chance to take the lead, to win Ivory Coast because they got the red card at the 40, that is even in the first half. They played the whole 90 minutes without scoring, the whole 30 minutes without even scoring. That was, that was unbelievable. So, but I saw what they did. They were like arguing with the referee after the final whistle. The referee, the center referee blew the final whistle. And Mal, uh, the Malian uh, players started arguing with the referee. There's no point of argument. You had the time, in, the whole time in the world to defeat Ivory Coast because they were 10 men against 11. I didn't do anything, so the final was so shoot. I didn't even expect the complaint or the argument from them. But again, congratulations to the elephants of Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. This is really, really unbelievable. 
Morocco that gave them an age is out. Senegal is out. So many uh, wonderful or strong team, high ranking and African teams are all out. I know of course that Cote d'Ivoire is a high ranking team in Africa, but again, how they got to this stage, almost at the verge of being eliminated from the group stage. Then they progressed the round of 16 and defeated Senegal. Prior to that game, I said that before, did their draw was said. Remember that Senegal is yet to be there because it happened. So how about Democratic Republic of Congo? Head to head, who do you think will win? Now I cannot. This AFCON has really proved a lot of people wrong. So prophets who pro, you know, pro, predicted or prophesied that Soso team will win, they all have been made liars. Right now, I cannot tell, but I can only tell you that Nigeria is heading to the final and their fourth AFCON title is obviously coming over.